Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the major fashion trends happening for 2024. Now you're probably wondering if side parts are coming back. I don't think they are, but I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it today. I'm also gonna share with you two trends that have been really big for the past couple of years that I think in 2024 are gonna to start to look a little bit dated and you might be okay with it. I'm going to look into my crystal ball, give you my prediction. Now, if you found my channel by one of my videos on like wearing your clothes a different way or like how to restyle your clothes or make use out of your clothes, I'm not telling you you need to run out and buy anything, especially not trends, but it is really good to know what is trending and what the trends are. And trends are a fun way to inject some interest into your wardrobe if they speak to you. If they don't, enjoy them on other people, but you don't need to run out and buy them. So the first trend I wanna talk about that's going to be huge for 2024, and I think we're all gonna end up getting into it in one way or another, but it's patent leather. So patent leather we have not seen on the forefront of fashion in a while, but high-end designers like Miu Miu, Saint Laurent, have already brought out a few pairs of shoes and a patent leather. And I think we're gonna see this trend trickle down to the more accessible brands in the new year. I don't think we're just gonna see it in shoes either. I think we're gonna see it in belts and in bags and definitely shoes and not just the ones that we remember wearing in tap dance class. Let me know what you think in the comments about patent leather, if you are excited about that or if you think that's something you would wanna wear or if it's just not really your thing. This next one, you're gonna be, I think you're gonna be ex either really excited this is coming back but maybe not at first because you might cringe at first, but leggings, leggings are coming back. I believe they're actually gonna be a really big trend for 2024. Now, not exactly the way we were wearing them um, six or seven years ago with leggings, with a long tunic or the printed leggings. Like we're not talking about Lulu Row. Uh, we're not talking about, you know, long baggy oversized asymmetrical tunics. The leggings outfits that are going to come back in 2024 are gonna be more so like tall boots with a button down with a blazer. Or maybe it is a long top, but it's a more structured long top. Or maybe it's worn with some Adidas Sambas. If you had some Spanx faux leather leggings and you got tired of them, hopefully you just put them away for a while, but you might wanna bring those out next year or, or even now. Um, I did have some that I almost sold. I almost sold them, I was just so over them, and I didn't. I was like, no, I'm just gonna hang on to them. I'm gonna hang on to them. Let me just wait and see if I like them again. And I actually brought them out the other day and I'm like, you know what? I can see myself getting back into these. Not yet, but I can see myself getting back into these sometime soon, in a different way, of course. <laughs> in 2023, we saw metallics and sequins really make a comeback. Silver metallic, gold metallic, um, sequins, shiny, you know, sparkly shoes. We definitely saw that come back in 2023 and it's only continuing into 2024. I think this is such a fun trend and I love these styles paired back with more classic tops or like everything else in your outfit being classic or basics, but then have the metallic or the sequin part be kind of the star of the show. For some reason, every time I see a photo of somebody in a sequin skirt and a white button down, I'm like, I love that. I love that look. Now I'd like to show you some items from our sponsor for this video, which is Dynamite Clothing. I discovered Dynamite Clothing not too long ago and they have the cutest items for holiday season this year. Oh my goodness, I wanna start off with this sequin maxi skirt. It is so cute, it fits so well, it has a stretchy waistband. I love this being the hero piece of the outfit and pairing it back with more like basics and classics. I do think this is a great holiday ready skirt, like great for New Year's or holiday parties and everything, but sequins have been such a big trend that I think if you just went out to a dinner party, um, I think this would be a really great option. The next piece I wanna show you from Dynamite Clothing is this brown maxi dress that I have on right now. It is so cute and comfortable. I've expressed in so many videos that I've been loving brown lately. I've just been really gravitating towards it and I love it in this maxi dress. It does have a slit in the side and body skimming but not you know restrictively tight and I just think it looks amazing. I love it with my black boots and a black bag. Another item I have from Dynamite Clothing is this denim maxi skirt. If you've not tried a denim maxi skirt yet, I am a big fan. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of denim maxi skirts this year. I just feel like they're more elevated than a pair of jeans. I have just been loving 
something, pairing it with like my basic tees or my more basic items, it just, it just feels a little bit more stylish to me. Like it feels like I've got a little bit more dressed up than a basic pair of jeans. Now I will say this one runs, it runs big. I am wearing a size small and I've never been an extra small in my whole entire life, but I definitely need to go down a size in this skirt. Another holiday ready item, but also could be just an everyday item from Dynamite Clothing is this pleated maxi skirt in this metallic fabric. I love, I've been loving the metallics this year and I feel like this is beautiful where they're a pair of boots and a cute sweater, but this is one that could also definitely go into spring. Now Dynamite Clothing doesn't only only have sparkly shiny things they do have a really great selection for the holiday season but they do have a lot of basics and classic looking clothing too that the little black tops that I'm showing you paired with a couple of these items are from dynamite clothing as well they have a really great selection of basics I will link the products that I'm wearing in the description box below and a link to their website and let's continue now in 2023 we saw maxi the maxi length come back in all kinds of styles uh, denim maxi skirts are been a huge trend for 2023 and it was shockingly one of my favorite trends of the whole year. <laughs> maxi lengths, uh, maxi dresses, pleated maxi skirts are coming back. The maxi length is still very much on trend. However, it's not just the maxi length. It's more of a minimalist, kind of a 90s-ish style of maxi length. Like the maxi dresses we're seeing are sleek and minimal, not a ton of bells and whistles. You don't see lace mixed with stripes, mixed with ruffles and a tie. All in the same dress. It's more sleek, minimal, maybe some ruching, maybe a slit, but very much more of a minimal classic style. The maxi dress, maxi length is a style that I really think we're going to just see more of in 2024. I think it's going to get bigger and I think people who weren't quite into it in 2023 might decide to try it in 2024. This next one I believe we discussed in my fall trends video, but nipped blazers were definitely seen on the runways for fall and they're going to continue into 2024. Now the slightly oversized relaxed fit blazers are still here. They are here to stay. I don't see those going anywhere for a very long time and they are still very much on trend, but what we are seeing in addition to that now are the more nipped blazers. Not to be confused with the super fitted, slim, soft shoulder blazers we were wearing in like 2015, um, 2012, 2018, I can't remember exactly which years, maybe it was all of them. We were wearing these like little teeny cropped blazers. So you might see a cropped blazer, but it's going to be strong shoulders, it'll be a little oversized. Or you might see a nipped in blazer, but it's probably going to be longer and it's still going to have somewhat of a strong shoulder. Now for me personally, I love an oversized blazer. And when I say oversized, I mean slightly oversized, not the gargantuan ones that look like you're wearing your football player boyfriend's blazer. Um, I feel, feel like that trend is kind of on its way out. If it's not already, that super, super oversized look that I don't really know who it looks good on. But a nice, slightly oversized blazer, love it. I have one by Dish. I talked about it in another video that I found. It's in gray. I've been loving gray this year. I'm going to link it below because I've just been loving this um, blazer. If I do a video on like most loved items this year, that will be in it. But blazers in general, I mean, every, yeah, every girl needs one. I, I don't want to say that because not, every, not everybody likes them. But if you like blazers and you're feeling that look, um, there, you know, you're, you're not going to go wrong with a blazer. Nipped in, oversized, you know, whatever, whatever style you really love. I just feel like they can really go far in your wardrobe. Now I want to say, I mentioned this one in my fall trends video, but one item that we are seeing come back for 2024 are long tops. And so we, for a long time, like years, we've seen lots of cropped items like cropped, not cropped up here, but just like cropped your waist, um, more boxy cropped kind of tops and sweaters. And we are going to see some more long tops, tops come back for 2024. Now let me be more specific because it's not just long tops that are coming back, but it's the more structured ones. Not so much the shapeless oversized tunics we were wearing, you know, a few years ago. I do think we were really gonna see this style come back and kind of morph maybe into even something else. A few of you have mentioned that you feel like the front tuck or the side tuck is gonna look dated soon. I don't know if it's gonna look necessarily dated, but I do think we're gonna find more tops that look good being untucked as opposed to just looking like they're hanging over our pants. Now the last couple of years we have seen a lot of leather and um, denim looks and that's going to con continue into 2024. Denim on denim, leather on leather, head to toe leather, 
leather skirts, leather pants, leather jackets, denim on denim outfits, denim dresses. It's all still very much on trend and I believe it's going to be definitely still very big for 2024. So you know the last few years we've been talking about classics and quiet luxury and white, basic white t-shirts and white tank tops, how they're trending but they're also very classic, like they really don't ever go out of style, but it's still it's still very much on trend. <laughs> classics, classics and basics and timeless pieces and a timeless wardrobe is still very much on trend for 2024. Now in 2029 or 2030 or something when we want florals and um, you know something that is a lot more out there than classics. You know, because the pendulum it just it always swings like this. The classics that we're talking about right now will still look good. They will never go out of style. So you're never going to go wrong if you invest in a good quality classic item of clothing that fits you, that feels good, that's made of a good high quality fabric. The only thing I would say that's a little bit different that is more of a trend, but I don't really think this is going anywhere for any time, anytime soon, but it's a more relaxed fit. I've talked about at some point how even with white button downs, we used to, I remember it was like hard to try to get them to fit over your bust or your lean back and it was all like coming apart like they were just very fitted and tapered that is very much not in style anymore it's not under the umbrella of this classics are trending kind of look for 2024 we are going to see more polo-esque type style shirts be very much on trend we've already seen some of these in 2023 with uh cashmere polos you know cotton polos i see these everywhere right now just all different kinds of versions and different styles i feel like it's a really great classy casual look you can pair it with jeans add a cute boot um, a structured bag and if you like this preppy kind of look i do think you'll really be able to find these a lot even right now and definitely into next year vest we saw this start to come back in like 2020 the argyle sweater vest that was becoming a big trend and it has just continued. It has stayed, even though magazines have been like, vests are going out of style. Nope, they're not. They are still very much here. And it's all types of vests, especially the more suiting, tailor type vests are very much on trend. They're gonna to continue to be on trend in 2024. Kinda of goes with that whole preppy, old money style look. And I think we're just gonna see more of these and more versions of these and probably figure out even new ways to wear them. Now the two trends that are like trendy trends. And I think that they're gonna look a little dated soon. Maybe they're kind of okay right now, but I just feel like, you know, six or eight months down the road, I think we're gonna start being like, you know, I don't know about these anymore. And one of them is the cutout tops with like the cutout right here. Now I was, I loved this trend when it was a couple years ago when it started. I just really, really liked it a lot. I didn't like it on myself because I was just really self-conscious of this area. I kind of think this cutout right here is going to go a little bit the way of the cold shoulder top where it's just going to start looking a little bit dated. We're only going to see it offered in like Amazon and places that produce a lot of fast fashion. The other trend I think that is going to start feeling kind of dated and I don't think anyone's going to be mad about it. Um, but it's the crossover button on the, on denim. And I do still see these for sale. I don't feel like it's necessarily like out of style right this second, but I just, I just feel like, I don't, I don't know. I, I wouldn't go and buy any, any new denim that has the crossover button. I think that look was more of a fad and I don't really see that lasting for too much longer. Now again, with trends, they are fun. I love looking to see what's trending. I think it's important to know what's trending, especially if you're trying to figure out what in the work, where to start if you're like trying to get your style together. Um, it's nice to have a good place to start, but by no means does anyone need to be a slave to fashion. You should always figure out what you like, what styles you like, what works for you, and go that direction, whether it's on trend or not. So I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what trends you're excited about. I will do more trend videos as we go into the new year and some more on some spring trends and that kind of thing. So make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, I will see you next time.